autonomous driving. Welcome to the future. I almost died once doing a self-driving car, so these first few seconds are always a little nerve-wracking. So you'll notice the two consoles here. This one is the aptive view of how the vehicle perceives the world around it. And then here is the lift console, and this is sort of a lightweight experience for the passenger. In the beginning, it's more about making sure that the passengers are aware of where we're going at a high level and why the vehicle's making the decisions that it's making. Um, but also eventually it'll get to the point where um, it'll be the interface for passengers to actually start um, getting more of those creature comforts, you know, things like um, heat and air conditioning and, and other things that you might ask a driver to do when you're already in a lift. Lane change checking. Changing lane. I'm seeing the pedestrians in the crosswalk on that screen before I'm actually seeing them with my own eyes. We picked up this ride through the Lyft app, but the technology is actually Active. So are you guys kind of agnostic about the technology? Will you partner with multiple companies? The platform is definitely a strategy of collaboration. And so we already have uh, seven partners already signed up for the platform. And this is our second public pilot. And do you envision a scenario where Lyft drivers will have employment because they're backup drivers to the self-driving cars? Right now, uh, ride-sharing accounts for a relatively small percentage of total miles driven in the United States. And as we scale this technology, we'll be able to start addressing many, many more of those miles. However, there's a lot of these rides that actually require a person. We've started doing partnerships with a lot of companies that help get elderly to their doctor's appointments, for instance. So I've been in a lot of self-driving cars in a lot of places, and I have to say that was one of the most boring rides that I've ever had, but I think that's a compliment in the self-driving world. That was pretty much like being stuck in traffic in any metropolitan city, except just a guy's hands hovering under the wheel.